Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Nice arch and open, just got my, my shade over the top. And nice warm day in Cheshire. We've had a bit of, quite a bit of rain, so it's just a nice, nice dampish sort of atmosphere to everything. Right, so today I've got a nice turkey breast, a turkey crown. And um, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you can inject it or you can brine it overnight. I've done both ways and I, I've, I don't find a big difference. You can do it, do it both ways as, as well. You know, you can brine it and you can inject it. Um, I'm going to uh, do it in a brine today and basically I'm going to do it as a, as a gross breast and see how it comes out. I'm sure it'll be good. We'll marinate it over, over the next 24 hours and then we prepare it and put, put it on the on, on the Weber kettle to to cook so yeah it all all should be good take about an hour and a half to two hours to do some somewhere on there so let's get let's get on with it i spoke about the difference that we you can inject it or you can brine it overnight the injection basically get some apple juice maybe a little some some coke I use quite a bit of coke in in brining stuff uh, get some melted butter get some of the Italian rub get some uh, any other barbecue rub you want you mix it all together with some water a uh, bit of sugar as well mix it all, all up with water get it all to dissolve then you sieve it off and then you can just use that as an injection to brine, basically, you I use apple juice, use a bit of coke. Um, the big thing that I do use is an Italian glaze. I get Italian glaze from my butcher and he gives it to me in bags. Um, it really seems to, to bring out the flavours in, in, in poultry. So I use that. Um, some Italian herbs, if you haven't got that, is fine. Some water, salt and sugar. Put that all into a bag and then shake it around and then put the, ch the chicken or the turkey in cl close it up with a cable tie and then into the fridge overnight 24 hours that sort of thing so that's the two different um, ways of, of keeping getting moisture to stay inside and getting a moist uh, finish to, to the, the, the the chicken turkey whatever you're doing you can if you're just doing like a turkey breast that we're doing you can do it or a full turkey, a full chicken, chicken legs, whatever you want. You, you can use, use, use one of the same systems. Okay, so here is our, our nice turkey breast. And inside we have got a mixture, our brine mixture, as I explained earlier on. We'll grab the turkey. Put them inside the bag, get a cable tie, screw it all up, and get a cable tie, and that can now go in the fridge. Okay, so there it is now, it's all nice in his bag. With a cable tie on the top to stop it from leaking and I can go in the fridge for the next 24 hours or so. Okay so the next thing we've got to do is to make up our glaze which consists of some apple juice, some butter or well, margarine, some honey, some sugar and some barbecue sauce and we'll heat it up and basically just boil it down until it's 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 a nice thick glaze so here goes switch on and it'll take about three quarters of an hour i suppose half an hour three quarters of an hour we will keep stirring it and then it's get just to get it to a nice glaze there we are starting to Get that butter to go down. We'll come back later. 
Right, so this has been going about half an hour now and it's looking good. If you take a bit and you leave it on the side, it gets quite, quite thick. So I'm going to leave it, leave it off now and see how it goes. Might have to do a little bit more later, but I think it's going to be quite, quite good. So switch off, last taste. And that's it, delicious. Okay, so it's been overnight now. Time to take it out. That's looking delicious. It smells good. So now we'll just prepare it for going onto the rotisserie. I was going to do it as a roast, uh, just uh, just on the on the Weber grate, but I've decided I'm going to do it as a rotisserie. Either way, it's always going to be good. Okay, so to start preparing it, basically I'm going to rub it with some oil and then put some spices on it. Put some Italian glaze, which I know as a glaze, it's it's more for a long-term thing, but it, it still works nice as a as a rub. Put some of that on. Some spogs, which is salt, pepper, onion, garlic. Some of that on. Pat it on, and then turn it over. Open it up. Same again oil first the oil just helps it all stick together and some Italian seasoning what the butchery does with this they put it on their meat or whatever and then it just sits for hours and hours all packed up in the in its bag and it just flavors the the food so some spogs right that's actually a little bit too much but it'll be fine i'm going to throw some rosemary and some thyme in there that's what i got growing in the garden so hopefully it all should, should go well now I was going to do it as a roast, but I think I'm just going to do it as a rotisserie instead. It'll be a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to tie it up, I think. So, spike that through there. And then, if we spike that through like that. And then probably just tie it up. I think we'll be alright. I don't know. We'll have to just see how it's going to work. I think if we just roll it. This he's back inside how it goes <laughs> if it falls apart we'll just put put some more string on but i think that's going to be all right yeah perfect right let's get a fire made and get our rotisserie going 
Right, got my charcoal chimney going. Got a few little chunks of uh, pear wood there. I'm going to smoke with the pear wood. So, in about 20 minutes, it'll be ready to pour out and get the rotisserie going. So, charcoal's ready. You can pour it all out into the char baskets. A couple of pieces not alight yet, but they will just stay in there and come alight later. Actually, quite a lot of flame there. Move them across for putting the rotisserie. One piece of pear wood in each for some smoke. Now we need to put the, the grate on. Always try and leave them open just to save a bit of heat getting onto them there. And then put the rotisserie beef extension on. Righty ho. Close it up for for about five, ten minutes just to heat up nicely and then we'll come back and put the put the turkey on. It's been about a, about ten minutes. It's nice and hot now we, we're up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit so let's get our our meter probes this is our temperature monitor probes and the end this end there is a uh, the outside ambient temperature of the of the Weber outside of the Weber barbecue and inside there is the sensor for the internal temperature of the meat so we put it into about there that line there and one probe can tell both temperatures i'm actually putting two probes in here because i've got i've got a block which has four four probes in i'm only going to be using two today because i've got them you can use one it's no problem at all we've got to bring it up to about 165 degrees fahrenheit uh, what's that? That's about 65 uh, centigrade, I think, somewhere there. So let's put it on. You'll start turning. I've got a little dish to put underneath. The fat tray. And later I will put mushrooms inside there as well. So let's just lift this wing up again. Just so right, we'll close it up and take about an hour and a half. I'll monitor it all the time. I will glaze it a bit later on and the juices from the tray I'm going to pour over shortly and my glaze is looking quite good that we made earlier on so yeah all's going well we'll get the meter probe switched on and then we can just monitor it from wherever we are okay so the gauge there says about 330 degrees Fahrenheit my meter says 310 you will always get a higher temperature at the top of the dome as well so that's all within limits there that's looking good it's only had about 10 minutes now so right it's good okay that's had 35 minutes let's give it a bit of a spray i've got a spray bottle with some orange juice because i've ran, ran out of apple juice and a little dash of water, that's all. It's looking good. Just spritz it every half an hour or so. So we'll just spritz it all around. Right, close up. Time to glaze. We've got about half an hour left. The 
looking good. One last glaze, and then we can take it off. I never ended up putting mushrooms in the dish in the bottom, as I have done inside. And it's basically ready, so I'm going to take it off. That's it. Close it up. And we can go and eat. Right, this looks good. Chop that off. Let's just chop through.